What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a werewolf, seeing as how it's nearly Halloween. Um, I thought I'd do a werewolf. Okay, so I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with his eyes, right? So center point of my page about here, we just come over. His, I moved his head slightly over to the sort of right hand side, right? Just to fit in some of his shoulder on this side. So we got kind of this three quarter pose. So his head's kind of turned. It's not like facing straight forward. So what we'll do first, we'll start with this frown, right? So it kind of bends around here. Curves up and back this way, right? And can get a little bit hairy up here. And then the frown on the other side goes this way. That's a little bit longer, right? Okay, it goes like sort of more out that way because we're in this three quarter sort of pose, right? So a little bit hairy up here. So basically three quarter pose means one side of his face is a little bit like narrower than the other, okay? That's all. So then in under here, right, we can see his eye. So we can see like a spike in here. And then this is gonna curve around. Say up to the back there. And then he's got so he's got like a glowing sort of white eye. Okay, so you just kinda you don't have to draw a pupil or anything. We'll just with the eye kind of this sort of shape and then colour black all around it. Right, like so. We do the same thing pretty much over here. So like comes out here, this side, because it's closer to his eye. And then we just bring it around. Back to here and then like back up into his eye, right? And then you just draw in that glowing sort of eye. Bring it around and you colour just black around it. And, you know, to make him kind of more intimidating, you know, it's like you just make it dark all around. So then we're going to have so some extra sort of wrinkles in around here. And sort of your how much of this you do is kind of up to you, right? Because he's a he's a hairy kind of creature. So we've got some you know, hairlines and stuff coming up his head. You know, just all this kind of texture and stuff. And then, so like his nose down here, okay? So it's like the distance between his eyes, it, it, we've got this triangle going on. So like here to here, that's the same distance to like the middle of his nose, right? So you got like a line there. So we're like here to here, about the same as here to here. And this sort of triangle shape up to his eyes, right? Just so you don't go down too far. That's like the middle line for his nose, right? So you, then you have this sort of arrow pointing down, just there. That's like the bottom of his nose. And then at the edge of the arrows, we have his nostrils just in there, okay? They're dark inside. Like that. And then his nose, top of his nose comes around like this kind of love heart kind of shape. Oh, I love heart werewolf. Right? So that's roughly his nose. And then you have like some wrinkles and things on top. So his snout comes out from underneath. So we'll come around right here. will go sort of up towards his eye. And on the 
this side as well, towards his eye. There's all these snarly sort of wrinkles on his nose, right? So coming across his nose here. Because he's got this big snarling sort of face, right? And wrinkle lines. And around like here. Going in towards his eye. Sort of around here. Maybe like another one coming out from there. Right, and like you can just keep adding sort of until you think there's enough. So kind of one coming around like at the bottom of his eye here. And this comes down this way. Kind of wrinkles. Like so. So then like his jaw or like the side of his, his head. So we'll go down this way. there and then on this side it kind of comes down here a bit longer on that side down to the side of his mouth somewhere here so he's snarling big sharp fangs and stuff down here okay so his gum line say it's kind of the, you know dogs have because he is a dog I guess so like dogs have this black stuff on the side of their mouth the color of their their gums is like black right so it's all sort of black here right? and then his, his gums kind of stick out here and we kind of bump around his teeth then right? so we just got this bumping sort of gum line coming around and then up around a the fang here big fang and then this goes up into the side of his mouth and you could have some black on this side too it just comes down here so then these are all like big sharp fangs right that stick out here like especially these ones they're like super big You can make them really pointy or sort of blunt on top. It's kind of up to you, depending on how you like to draw your werewolf teeth. They're real small in the middle. Like that, and then we got like lines going up. Add a thicker line just on this here. Right, that kind of thing. Right, so then down here, then we've more fangs coming across the bottom, right? So we got like his bottom teeth line just sort of there and then there's a fang that kind of sticks out and goes up here right curves around because we're looking down at these fangs right so this comes around goes up around to there and the other one just here mm -hmm. Right, and then some more teeth that were kind of we can see sort of the bottom of them, you know, they're kind of diamond kind of shaped 
teeth here. Because we're looking down on them, right? So you can't kind of make out them. Kind of thing. Then the side of his gum come up there. Let me see, I think I need to change my view while I'm in. Yeah, so like there's more sort of black gum coming around this way. And that'll go up behind this tooth. And then you might see some more teeth in here. Some more sort of black gum going that way. The side of his mouth, maybe. Coming out there. And then, so it's black gum, and then, like his tongue or something. Or his mouth just kind of in here. And then some more sort of teeth going back this way. I think that's his tongue, but there's these sort of lines on it just going this way. And I'm going to color in those black gums of his. Just to make it his mouth stand out a little bit. Right. So then what we can see of a chin, where does it come down? So say that goes that way and then chin, kind of hairy. So the chin comes up behind his tooth here. Okay. And then we eventually become, become sort of the side of his face, which is like all sort of hair spikes coming out this way, right? Remember, if I go too fast, just hit the pause button. All right, that's what we got so far. And you do the same sort of thing over here, right? Just these hooks and spikes, and you don't have to draw in tremendous amount of amounts of detail. You know, you just add these sort of spiking lines going up that way. Eventually, they'll join his ears, right? So then I guess we'll do the ears now. So ear just here spikes up, comes back down, and you can make them kind of hairy coming down. And they join into like here. Like that. Let me do sort of the same thing over here. So this go this way right and, and then this will come down kind of hairy coming down that way and then we have like an interior sort of you know the inside line for the ear shadow inside or something. Like so. 
So then the back of his head eventually becomes like all these hair spikes on his neck, right? So this like starts to, so we have all these goes back like and it'll eventually go down his back okay so I guess we'll get some so like some of those hair spikes we'll do them coming back around towards the back of his shoulder and stuff so let's say like his shoulders here okay so we'll do this shoulder here trapezius kind of here right and then this has all hair coming from back here all the way down around to the back of his neck right so so lots of these um hair spikes now and they can go in like different directions if you want and you could have some texture inside this all right so and how much of this you do is kind of up to you so it depends on how hairy you want to make your werewolf never drawn a werewolf before i don't think i have this is like my first time it's cool cool original image as well hats off to whoever designed this werewolf and you just keep going down his back and adding all these spikes, hair spikes. Some could be in behind. So like this, and then some like might come in behind his ear here onto his chest kind of thing you know, texture lines and just to show that there's actually this is all sort of hair right so something like this so it's like he's real angry sort of bristly like so so his shoulder that's his shoulder on this side his shoulder on the other side so it's about here right so it comes down so again three-quarter pose that means we can't see as much of this side of his body right so and, and his, his chest say like chest here on this side right and then the arm tricep comes down there Bicep sort of comes out down this way. And then forearm goes down off the page. The real like extended elbow, extended limbs and stuff, right? So like this is like a line. Shoulder, bicep, forearm, and then forearm on the other side. Just goes down sort of off my page. Might get some wrist bone or something here. Some forearm lines. Like a bicep sort of line there, and maybe like another shoulder line that way. Right, so now we're into like human anatomy. So that's like the wolf part done. But then we start adding things like this. So, so you can see now this side of his body is smaller than this side, it's twice the size. So if you're wondering how far, so like the center line for his chest would be here, right? So shoulder to the center line of his face and his chest, that'll go over twice over here, right? So this side of his body is twice the size of this side. Three quarter pose, so you can only see there's a, a quarter missing. So, you know, you go one, two, three right 
and the other side's missing. So it's we can only see three quarters of the actual character. That's why it's called three quarter pose. So, right, so more coming down this way. So we got like so shoulder and then like his tricep sticks out real far here. Like that, right? So this is a big shoulder, shoulder muscle. It's hard to see, sorry now. Just gotta brighten up my image a little bit. Okay, so then furry elbows. And then comes down here. This one I didn't put any fur. I'll just add some like that. All right, and then so that's this is his shoulder muscle. So the inside of his shoulder muscle, I'll put it. Let's go here. Comes up like so. Oops. Yeah, so that goes that way. So, kind of bicep, like armpit line here, and some more sort of shoulder muscles going that way. Then you have a deltoid muscle that comes down here and the rear deltoid there and this is like the middle one and then you have like trapezius going that way okay so it kind of looks like a love heart to kind of so love hearts what's with the love heart we're feeling the love today and then his collarbone so your collarbone normally goes into where your trapezius and your shoulder meet right so the collarbone should go down like that way be the top of his chest muscle going that way, right? And then his bottom chest, like the bottom of his chest. So that's like the center line going this way. See, like here, roughly, right? And then this chest muscle goes back up into there and you can have like muscle fibers and, you know, And then, side of his body, so that's his chin, right? And then, so we got like the side of his body curves in and down this way. So he's real skinny as well. Okay, so his forearm. On this side goes down off my page and then like maybe more sort of forearm muscle lines just going this way like so trapezius And then, so his back here, like lats, right? And then rib cage and hips down, down his back like that, right? So a couple of bumping lines here. Lats on the side of his body and then his diaphragm or his rib cage just here, right? And then like his abs, what we can see of abs comes down the middle. And then like oblique muscles here. That kind of thing. And then you can like add some fur maybe that comes down his back underneath. So, and then, you know, thicken up some of the main lines just to make them stand out. And like, depending on 
how you feel. You know, you can thicken it up a lot, or this was fun. I enjoyed this was fun. Not that like I don't like drawing the other characters, but I don't know some. <laughs> There was something about this one. Maybe it's because it's Halloween and it's... I don't know. It's fun drawing Halloween stuff. I wish I could, I wish I could draw, draw more. I can, I mean, I guess. I'm like talking to myself now, sorry. <laughs> All right, so just like cleaning up some of these edge lines now. It's worth doing. Can make a bit of a difference to your overall drawing. This is totally optional, by the way. I think my Sharpie's wasting. I might just speed this up because this is probably really boring to watch. Okay. How does that look from your end? I'm going to add drool. I think he needs drool. And then that'll be the last thing. So drool coming down from his mouth. Right, just these sort of lines here. Like some maybe going from tooth to tooth. You know, like gnarly sort of. Sort of drool just coming around his mouth. But I think I'm happy with that. That's a cool werewolf to draw. It's fun. Because it's Halloween, and I, I I do like Halloween. I must say, a lot of people sort of, you know, sort of pass over kind of Halloween because it's so close to Christmas. But I do enjoy Halloween. We have Halloween decorations up in our house for the kids, so we put them up like two weeks ago. <laughs> so so it's kind of fun. Right. Okay. I think I'll leave it there. How to draw a werewolf. I hope it helped you out. Complicated, I know, because it's three-quarter pose, but I thought it was one worth doing. So let me know if it helped you out. I do like to know if these things are too difficult for E, or, you know, if you'd like to see easier, harder, harder drawings or easier drawings. I don't know, it's hard to know. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.